Awareness, treatment and management remain the three critical approaches to tackling cancer and one of the main public health burdens in Nigeria. The wife of the governor of Kebbi State, Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu, a medical doctor, is involved in all three and this is earning her national and global recognition after she was shortlisted for the president's position of the union for international cancer control for the 2022-2024 term. Dr. Shinkafi Bagudu has received another honor. The African Institute of Public Health Professionals has inducted her as a fellow owing to her efforts on cancer awareness and treatment in Nigeria. Before we start our discussion, let's share this story with you. About the performance or performances of different states in healthcare delivery all over Nigeria. And I want to tell you that Kebi State is rated very, very high. And I know it's with the support of the First Lady. On behalf of uh, all of us from the Institute and our member in Kebi State, we appreciate your good work. Hi. I pledge to conduct myself professionally with truth, accuracy, accuracy. fairness, and responsibility to the public. To foster the highest standard of professional competence. Among those whom I am responsible. Well, I would like to thank the Institute for the honor bestowed on us. This is not an individual honor. It's an honor that has been given to us as a people in Kebi State. Uh, it's an honor, and I really, really appreciate the efforts that you made to come to Kebi, and, and I humbly uh, accept this award as a mark of our determination to improve the health of our people in Kebi State. I will be flogged if I leave this podium without talking about cancer control, and in fact, the role that public health can play, the need to bring public health, uh, cancer control to the public health space and the community. The main issue around cancer is the lack of awareness and not knowing what to do about it. When our people get cancer, their first port of call, they don't even know the signs, and usually their first port of call is to the traditional or religious healers. And this complicates the matters, increases the staging of the disease, and mostly leads to death. Good one there and highly commendable. A report has it that she has, um, there's an increase in immunization coverage from 17% in 2015 to 85% in 2022. Courtesy of her. Mm. I think this goes to the point that some people have been making, that the role of the first lady mm. is not just to, does not begin an education, education, education and ends there. Uh, it giving the opportunity uh, where first ladies can make great impact, you know, in this country. Imagine uh, she's from a conservative state, you know, but if she had been kept behind the doors, you know, Nigerians would have been robbed of this uh, contribution that she's making to humanity. So I think I really commend her. You know, in Nigeria, cancer is a very major problem, mm. you know, with about 72,000 deaths annually. So for her to be going out there, reaching out to the people, I think it's quite commendable. So it shows that first ladies, you know, there are a lot of contributions they can make to back up the work their husband, you know, are uh, you know, are doing. So I really, I, I really commend her for that uh, initiative. All right, Mr. Chris. Yes, um, sincerely, uh, I was surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sincerely, I was surprised uh, that we have someone of this nature as a first lady of um, KB State. I never knew, uh, and I mean media, uh, but it is a, a honor well deserved. And what struck me most in what she said is the area of education. She said awareness is part of the problem that people have about cancer. Uh, whenever you uh, have issue of cancer, the first place is the first place that we go to. So that traditional mm. people or uh, our pastors and the imams and that that shouldn't be the case. And she makes a very valid statement there. 
And uh, within the past few hours, I've taken time to go through her profile and some of the things she has done wonderfully well. And to me, it is a wake up call uh, 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 to other people and other first ladies uh, who just think that just going to be commissioning and dashing Okada just and the, the KK. <laughs> exactly, just to be that is not because in this country we have instances where we had wives of governors that went as far as um, Supreme Court. We've had wife of president uh, became chief justice of Nigeria. We've had several women in that way. And takes me back to the days of Miriam Babangida. And uh, I remember her initiative in those days, uh, better life for rural women. Yeah. She didn't just sit down. And uh, so even uh, the wife of one of the former head of state built a hospital, a hospital in, in, in Abuja uh, that today is being is being used by the public. So you could see for it that we can utilize these women um, better than some of uh, uh, our leaders are doing. So gone are the days where you just think a first lady is a first lady just to come and uh, sit down and the marking time and the rest of them. All right. Very, very wonderful. Uh, congratulations to her. All right, Bikio, this is obviously a challenge to other first ladies and of course to uh, Nigerians as a whole. How do you think Nigerians then can take a cue from this, uh, from this to make the society better? But I, I think there is significance that we have someone like um, uh, the first lady of Kebi State. Um, I've been monitoring her for some time, and uh, we brought her on this program uh, sometime last year. And it was a recognition of her contributions to uh, defeating cancer in our country. She's been pushing hard for all stakeholders to see cancer as a public health emergency in our country. You can imagine prostate cancer killing more than 34,000 Nigerian men every year. If we would do a lot more advocacy, if we would dedicate our time to generating awareness and encouraging our people to report quickly, when they suspect that they have this ailment, we will be able to save many lives. But a situation in which people keep quiet and allow cancer to spread until it becomes inevitable that it will take their lives is not what we want to see. She is a pediatrician by nature, I mean by, by training, and um, she's doing her best, influencing the decisions being made, the policies being made to improve public uh, health in Kebi State. It is recorded against her name that in the past, in 2015, Kebi State had 17% immunization rates. But today, that rate has gone down to more than 80%. That is really, really tremendous. and. Uh, it, it has uh, really shown us that this is a woman that knows her onions and is uh, determined to achieve her aims um, in the health uh, sector. So I give kudos to her and um, I want to encourage her to continue, even when her husband leaves office, to continue her work against cancer. She organizes the cancer awareness work every year in our country, in Abuja, uh, people join the work. She's, she's been doing her best, you know, just to um, ensure that more lives are saved uh, through early detection of cancer. Now, now, cancer is not a death sentence. We've seen people who survived it due to early detection. The wife of the governor of Undo State uh, is a cancer survivor. So, there is a lot that our people need to know, and there is a lot that government needs to do to help save more lives that ordinarily will have been lost to cancer every year. So, congratulations to Mrs. Um, uh, to the wife of the Kebbi State, uh, Mrs. Bagudu. 
Buyurun.